guys, this video might be a bit difficult to do. I don't have any structure or anything. I'm really just doing it because I feel like I kind of have to do it and I owe some people maybe explanation and I feel like it could also help some people. But I don't want to do it as stressfully as the last time. I don't know if you guys remember the last time I did a video telling all of my story. I'll put the link down below, but I filmed it like so many times. I even got sick in the middle because it really makes me sick to talk about this. I also want to mention that in the media, they, they kind of said a lot of details that I'm not going to say here right now. If you want to look for it, you can still search it on Google, I guess. It's like literally everywhere, but they told kind of a big part of the story in a lot of details. That's not what I'm trying to do with this video. But in this video, I really just want to be talking about the trial and how it was for me and how I'm feeling right now in my new life. So let's just get into it. So I want to do it one shot, quick, not think about it too much. This is exactly what has been happening to me the whole week and weekend. I'm feeling extremely disconnected of this whole situation. I'm gonna explain it in order. I think it, it might make more sense. Um, so basically I made a complaint on my ex for um, domestic violence and uh, then it took a really long time before going into trial. We had so many trials planned but every time like just a couple days before, like really just before, it would always be pushed. So even this time I was really not expecting it to happen. To be honest, all the other times I was making my plans around it, trying to fit everything and not be busy during this moment. But this time I had like kind of in my mind that anyway, it's not gonna happen. So I had so many plans this week, like all of the vlogmas and all these stuff. It's a lot of preparations. Finally, it really happened and it's really like last minute um, last week that I've realized that, okay, this is really happening. We were in the preparation of the trial, which is, I don't know how to say it, but it's difficult, but it was more difficult while I was during my preparations appointments. So basically I had appointments to rewatch um, the video of my complaints and that video was from like more than a year ago so it wasn't fresh in my head so re-watching that was really putting me once again in this whole situation and after like they explain you how it's gonna happen and everything but finally very last minute this weekend I had the news that my ex wanted like a plea deal, I think this is the name. Um, so that means that the people representing him and the people representing me have like a call, like they, they have a consensus, whatever. They decide to do something and plead guilty. So finally he pleaded guilty of three of the accusations. So that was a really good news because it was supposed to be a trial of three days. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, which would start today. Well, yesterday while you watch this video. And it would have been kind of like in the movie when uh, you go in front of the judge, in front of everyone, you're in the same room as your aggressor and you have to tell the whole story and then the people representing him can ask you questions to try to have you failing kind of them. I don't know how to explain it and I haven't lived it so I don't want to say anything wrong but this is what was supposed to happen so the preparation was so hard that I didn't realize it. I don't know if you get what I mean but for me when the feeling of being stressed is way too intense like above anything I just my brain is completely disconnected so I was not even realizing that this would really happen like every day I was just continuing working like keeping myself really busy making my vlogmas working on Hoaka and all of the stuff that I usually do and I wouldn't even think about it because I was not realizing that it would happen and finally we got this news this weekend of it's not happening we got it like really last minute and I couldn't tell you guys because he still had uh, the chance to change his mind until the moment it would really be said in front of the judge. So finally it was said in front of the judge. I could have been there, I was invited there, or I could have been on a call, but I really just wasn't feeling it. First of all, 
there was gonna be a lot of medias there and I didn't want to like get all of the questions and stuff like that. I really wasn't prepared for it and didn't feel like it. And I also didn't even want to be on the call because I didn't want to see him again. So I was just not there. And then finally I started receiving so many messages on Instagram, seeing all of the articles from the medias that it happened. I got a lot of demands for interviews and stuff. I did like only a few because I really felt like it was a way for me to like turn the page. Last year when it all happened, I was like completely no, like don't talk to me about it. I don't want people to think this is like my subject. But this time I really want, I kind of really wanted to go this morning even though my day wasn't planned like that. I was really supposed to have like a normal day at work. I was trying to act as normal as I could and I didn't thought it would get so much attention, but it got so much attention on the media. So I decided to do those interviews because I really wanted to push a message that now I want to say in English because it's it was all in French. When I first did my complaint to the police, I really didn't know what to expect. I got so many like kind of bad comments about like the, the justice system and all the, this stuff. I wouldn't be ready to say today that it's perfect, obviously like it's kind of hard when it's always pushed and it's not like fully perfect but I would say that it ended up like turning out positively for me because of what just happened. Uh, winning this battle for me doesn't only mean something to me, it means a lot for other people. Actually I would say that it means even more for other people or for Wolfie because at first like I thought I wouldn't go because when I realized that it was this thing of like having to tell your story in front of literally everyone I was like I'm not doing this like this is not happening but also everything was in the media so I felt like kind of not obligated but it felt more like a mission to do it for other people because I wanted to give the right example and I wouldn't have been proud of myself to not have done it and I don't know what Wolfie would have think of me later when she sees that I just abandoned in, in the middle. So that's why I really wanted to do it and I really hope that it can inspire some people to do more. And that's also why I wanted to tell like this video, this story. It's a trial story so I don't have much to say. Now it's not even over, we still have another trial. Now he's guilty but we have another trial which will be in May. And it's about the sentence, so that's when we're, because people have been asking me like what's gonna happen next, but that's when we're gonna choose what is the punition, what is the sentence for what happened. This is coming, but I'm not expecting anything particular. What I want to say is that you guys have probably seen, like I'm not talking about this subject so much on my social media because I'm really turning the page and I'm trying to like restart, rebuild my life. As you can see right now, I don't want to be crying in front of the camera and going like in a negative or sensitive way. I really just want to be happy in front of you and let you know that I'm really good. My life is absolutely perfect right now, even though like this is happening. Of course, there's like some trauma that I can't remove. You know when I talk about the house thing, like the home thing, I know I keep saying like, oh, because of Cristo, Costa Rica, blah, blah, but there's a big part of me that's also not being able to feel home anywhere that I go and I'm realizing it the more like, time goes. So I think this is kind of the trauma that I'm keeping from it. The fact that I don't feel like home because home is like a comfort or like a security, which I can't really live. This weekend, I kept thinking, he's close, like he's close to us because I knew the trial was on Monday and usually he lives like eight hours from here so it really helps me thinking like he's far so we're fine but now knowing that the trial was on Monday all the weekend I was like he's probably around like maybe I can go to the store and just see him or just the night before I had to put my dogs out for like pee pee and blah blah and I was opening the door doing it super fast just looking around like so scared and that's probably something that's gonna stay for a long time like I just really want to stay on this but other than that like all of my life is perfect, I'm really rebuilding myself and I'm staying occupied, like I'm always doing something, never 
just laying and thinking too much okay i think i'm really just gonna end this video like that because i don't want to be talking for too much i really want the essence of this video to just be my trial story if i can say that was really short but also let you know please girls don't stay in this situation it can't be worse anywhere else and there's a life after it like that's all i have to say that's what i was the most scared about and now I can promise you that there's something after. There's another life after. Like you don't have to stay in that position all of your life because I'm literally reliving again a completely new life. Because I have imagined my life being with the father of my kids forever and having this perfect family. And after that, I was like, there's nothing else after. But now, right now, as you can see, on my Instagram, YouTube, whatever, I'm reliving an absolutely new and perfect life. So I'm gonna say goodbye and thank you so much for watching this video, thank you for all of the support during this trial. Now it's not completely over, as I have said, there's gonna be the sentence trial in May, but for now we're no longer talking about it. Let's go in the positive subject, tomorrow will be a positive video, I promise. Not that it's negative, it's a really positive video because that's a really great news for all of the women out here. It's, I feel like it's saying to men, like, it's a no, like, you can't do this. But it's gonna be even more powerful when we get this sentence. So, let's just go through that. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>